Hey guys, welcome to my first video of 2022. Um, it's January 17th right now, um, Martin Luther King Day. January 17th? Yeah, I think, I think it's January. I don't know. It's Martin Luther King Day. Thanks Martin Luther King for everything. <laughs> he's not ever going to see this video because unfortunately he's dead, but <laughs> he's my guy. All right. All right. I don't know what that was. I don't know why I started the vlog with that. <laughs> Recently, I've been doing a couple book reviews and people have actually been receiving it pretty well. Um, a lot of people, you know, that's not their thing, but they're not my most viewed video. Like my yoga challenge is what I'm known for. So my yoga challenge videos get the most viewed, but it's okay because this is like what I really like to do. I like to talk about books and literature and all that jazz. So um, I'm just now editing and releasing my songs of Achilles. So that should be up uh, the day that I am talking right now. So that video is up. This one is gonna come up soon. I have some stuff from like Christmas and Christmas Eve that I still need to edit, but they're back on my SD card back at my house and I'm back at my apartment and I don't know the next time I'm gonna go there. So this video might be out before Christmas, but don't worry, those videos are coming. If, if this like happens to be out before, just like don't worry, Christmas Eve is coming. I'm not, I don't think anyone's worried, but <laughs> I just wanna let you guys know those videos are coming. I just didn't wanna like, release it without like half the content if that makes sense because I just finished editing and they're both like five minutes and I was like okay well we need the other footage it's the first week of school and in honor of that and getting back in my English brained mind I wanted to do a book review so I just finished my first book of the year about a week ago I started on my second um, I'm halfway through it I want to get that finished by the end of this week. Even though it's the first week of school, I feel like I can manage it. I feel like if I make it like a goal, I could do it. I honestly might finish it today. I don't know. It's probably my favorite book I've read. I'm really excited to do that review. I talked about it last year in my English 2021 book reads. I didn't get to read it last year, but I just started reading it this year. I am obsessed with the book. So I'm so excited to review that one. I, I literally think it might be my favorite book. So I'm not even finished with it. I don't even know, but like, just from what I've read so far, I've been reading it so fast, it's so good. But I read this book in two days because it was a pretty short read. Um, so the book that I'm reviewing, <laughs> guys, there's a snowstorm here and like icicles keep falling. So they keep like hitting the windshield and it's really scary. Like last, like last night it was so late and all I could hear was like, icicles breaking and hitting the windshield and it literally sounded like someone was trying to break in so that was really scary anyways i'm reviewing agnes gray by anne bronte so this is a classic book this is classic literature um it's 1900 or sorry 19th century british literature um and it was a pretty good and short read so i got like this set of books um the bronte sisters collection um and it's from like I don't know like these are like cute little like knit knitted like victorian books um but they come in a really small print so as you can see these this book was like it could have been thicker but it looks so small and thin because <laughs> the reading is so little and so like to get through like two pages it like took like a minute and like 30 seconds so the read was still like I don't know. I'd say it was probably a seven hour read. So it did still take a while because it looks like you could finish this so fast. Um, I looked at it and I was like, this is going to be so fast. But no, it actually did take me a little bit of time. This book is over a girl about my age. I think they said she was like 18. Um, I'm 19, but close to my age. And her name is Agnes. And basically uh, her father um, decides to do something with his money and uh, to help them become more rich i guess to get them more wealthy um and he has to send his money overseas with this guy but unfortunately the uh the ship sinks all the money's gone with it and their family is poor like they don't have anything their dad like is depressed because the money's gone um agnes wants to do something but every time she talks about doing something her family is just like no 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 you just go for a walk and stuff and so agnes is like you know what i want to be a governess which a governess is basically um if you don't know what that is it's basically a, like an in-home teacher. So a teacher um, who teaches like certain families that are really wealthy 
at their own house. So it's like their own private like teaching uh, for wealthy families and you usually just get a governess to do that. So she was going to be a governess and her family was like, okay, I guess so, like, fine. We're really in debt, we could use it, go be a governess. So she goes to this family called the Bloomfields um, and she takes care of them for a little bit. You can read how that spirals, but she ends up leaving. She's not with them anymore. Um, they basically say, we don't need you anymore. Um, so Agnes leaves that, thankfully. <laughs> and then she gets put with the Murrays. So that's another family. And basically the book is around that family, the Murrays. But we don't really hear, it's weird because she's with the Murrays for like most of the book, teaching them um, and becoming their governess. But it's also like not about the Murrays. <laughs> It's mainly over Rosalie, which is the older uh, Murray of the family. She's pretty close to Agnes's age. There's only a couple years apart, but she's teaching them. We don't really hear a lot about Agnes's teaching. Um, we instead kind of focus on the dynamic between like her and the family and like Rosalie. And also um, Rosalie's like looking for suitors, I guess, like men and, um, so Agnes kind of goes on that journey with her and then Agnes ends up meeting someone that she falls in love with. And it's kind of over that romance um, a little bit. Like it's like a really huge part of the story, um, but it's like, it's, they don't really, there's no like slow build up and like you can see the attraction and we don't really hear a lot from the guy. I don't know. It, it was, it's a romance kind of. So this book is like a romance novel, but also just like kind of like coming of age, I guess, because Agnes is like a teen. She's um, becoming more of a um, older woman being governess, um, just kind of like what it is like growing up. Um, but also she ends up finding the love of her life. Um, it's like working with other families, that kind of dynamic, a little bit of comedy in there. This is my first um, Anne Bronte book. So I've read Char, nope, Emily Bronte's Weathering Heights in the past, um, but I'm gonna reread it again this year. I bought the actually hardcover copy because I like kind of went through it really fast and I was listening to an audiobook and like most of the time I had my eyes closed and I was just listening. And I definitely fell asleep for some parts of it. Um, not because it was boring, I just like, audiobooks, they work for me, but I also need to be reading along with it. I can't just like listen to it. Like I get lost and dazed and just tired. So I also bought a ton of Jane Austen books too. So like I have a, quite a lot of cl classics to read this year. Um, hopefully I can get through them. Fingers crossed. Um, the book I'm reading right now is a classic. So I'm excited to do that one for you guys. I also have another book to review, but it's back at home and I wanted to be able to like show you guys the book with it. So that one's gonna come at some point. Um, but this was a this was a very well-written book um, coming from like the first sister of Emily Bronte I read, Anne Bronte. I haven't read Charlotte Bronte yet, um, but I'm excited to. I have her books as well that I bought. Honestly, the only thing, I didn't really connect with this book. So from a personal level, I thought the writing was magnificent. I feel like you're, I don't know, like Anne Bronte, she did a really good job with like sensory, being able to like imagine where you're at. Also just like the annoyance you could feel like when you're like reading about some of these characters, I was like, oh my gosh, like shut up. Like some of these people really annoyed me in this book. She did a great job of like capturing that emotion that just like drives you bananas. But I didn't really connect with the main character, Agnes. So that's like one thing that would probably set me back on my rating. Um, I couldn't really get emotionally attached to this book. I was just kind of like waiting for something to just kind of make me relate to Agnes. But we didn't really hear a lot about like, I don't know, there was no like emotion that made you like, oh my gosh, Agnes, like I relate to that. Um, at least not for me. I didn't relate to anything that she was really like going through. Um, I didn't really, relate when she started to fall in love with this man who I'm not going to tell you who the guy is um just because I don't want to ruin the element of surprise I guess um but I was like waiting and waiting for, to like feel that like oh my gosh he is the best like I want them to be together so bad like I did that in like Pride and Prejudice like I was like yes Elizabeth go get Mr. Darcy like 
you just get that like over the moon like feeling um where it's just like i love that guy like he's perfect like not perfect but you know what i mean like he's per imperfectly imperfect like go get him i'm so excited for you agnes like i wish that was me like you get that like feeling where you're like i don't know you're so invested in their romance i did not get that in this book i was just like okay like cool i don't know so sounds good like i wasn't like yay like at the end between anything that like happened between them like i don't know i was just like all right like sounds good like there was nothing that really made me like excited in this book i think it's really underestimated um and like a lot of people don't talk about Anne bronte she's like the forgotten bronte like we hear about charlotte we hear about emily but Anne bronte like she's a great writer and um there was a lot in this book that like i learned about writing a lot about literature that i learned there was a lot of vocabulary in there that i learned um I know like Nicholas Sparks, he uses seldom a lot and I didn't know what that was, what that word meant until I literally like read Nicholas Sparks and now like reading this, I was like, oh, she uses that a lot in here and I like, now I can like trace it together and like figure out how to use it in and out of context. Um, so it's just like one of those things that I found kind of cool. I know that sounds so nerdy and stuff, but just like, I like to be able to like use context clues and like vocabulary and stuff that just helps me understand it better. Um, and I love vocabulary. I think it's so cool. It just wasn't for me. It wasn't the book that like I would go back to and reread. There's nothing that like stood out. Like if I'm, if I sit here thinking about it, the only thing that stood out really for me was the character Nancy Brown. I actually really, really liked Miss Brown. Um, she was really... I don't even know if Nancy was her name though. I think it was Nancy Brown. <laughs> I just know that I liked Miss Brown. That I liked her. She was... I read a lot about her stuff and I, I don't know. I thought she was... I thought she was cool. But I did not relate to Agnes. Her and I didn't really click. I wasn't like... Feeling like I was in her shoes. I didn't feel like her and I really had a lot in common, um, which it happens in books sometimes. So from my perspective, I'd probably give this book three stars out of five um, because the three stars comes from the fact that this was a really well-written book. Like it's very like well said, well-spoken. Um, you, I don't know, you can like place yourself in the situation, like what's happening. You can like put yourself in the scene and like watch it play out. Um, but I couldn't like emotionally attach myself to the book. So that's where the minus two stars would probably come from. Um, from a writer's perspective, probably a four out of five. Um, maybe, yeah, no, a four out of five. Because I feel like in the book, you need to, like, there's certain, like, plots that I was, like, like, with Rosalie, like, her ending kind of sucked. I was like, oh, that's the ending you're gonna, okay, I guess. <laughs> like, I thought something else would maybe happen. Um, we didn't really talk about her family much anymore and, like, what played out with her family and, like, her sister. There was no, like, closure on some of the characters, um, so that kind of sucked. But, um, but I could really picture myself in these like moments like watch it play out in my head which i think is like really cool i wasn't lost reading it i never got confused what was happening um everything was like made sense and timely order and everything it just wasn't the book that i would go back and reread um but i did have some people who said that you just have to like warm up to certain authors like certain authors like Anne bronte um people said her her other novel the tenant of wildfell hall was better and that is actually next after this book i'm reading right now on my reading list i'm supposed to read that one afterwards so maybe i'll relate to that book more um it's a little bigger so i'm hoping there's like more story to unfold and um more time to just like understand the characters and like get in tune with them because there wasn't a lot of time in this one and it was like a seven hour read like i said um nothing not a huge huge read but um still like enough and lengthy but it just didn't i didn't get enough time to like attach to the characters so that's just my only downfall overall uh three out of five uh rating probably for me also if you guys i know when i like tell you guys to comment stuff not a lot of people do but i'm gonna ask anyways i'm gonna just ask you guys i'm just throw it out there 
if you want to see like an Instagram page where I do book reviews or like a blog, let me know because I see a lot of people do that and it looks so much fun. Um, and then I can like attach this video to it and attach the videos that way. You guys, if you're more of like a visual and you don't really want to read and you'd rather just like listen to something, then I can do that too because I'm always going to be making these book review videos because I love them. So, okay, that was weird. All right, guys. Um, I will see you guys soon. I'm going to go literally edit this now and put it um, up to schedule so I can have this up um, in a couple days. So peace out.